Hi there, my name is Jake. I am a support analyst here at Experience Group. You may have recently received notification that the version of ACT used by your company is upgrading soon. As a web user, you do not need to worry about making too many changes. However, you will need to upgrade the Outlook integration software. This video will show you how to do just that. The first step I would like to show you is how to uninstall the previous Outlook integration. We do this by going to the Windows button at the bottom and typing appwiz.cpl. This will show us a list of all currently installed software. We want to remove the ACT Outlook integration from our list if it is there. So now the old Outlook integration is uninstalled, let's install the new one. Our first step is to log into the web client. We then go to Tools, Preferences, Email, and press Download. Once the program is downloaded, we need to make sure user account control is turned off. Click on the Windows button again and this time type user account and click on change user account control settings. Ideally we would like this slider to be pushed all the way to the bottom. You might not be able to do this however. If this is the case contact your IT support for permission. I'm heading to my Downloads folder now to right-click the Downloaded Executable and run as Administrator. On this part, just click Install and Next whenever the relevant options come up. Don't worry about this dialog message, we just need to press OK. OK, so the installation is done, let's open up our Outlook profile. And we can see in the add-ins tab up here that there are six icons. This tells me the software has installed without issue. You may want to send some test emails to see if they appear in notes and history. Thanks for watching this quick video on installing the Act for Web Outlook integration.